Welcome to Mom and D Hawaii. Okay, so for our last project of the day, we're gonna make a personalized lunch bag here. So this bag actually I bought for my sister. It is a lunch bag. You can personalize any lunch bag this way, but I bought this one because specifically it fits Cricut Joy. So I'm gonna show you here. This, it fits the Cricut Joy perfectly in the top. It's insulated, so there's good padding to it, and it closes up really nicely, perfectly, just like this. And so there's also an extra different pouch area for more supplies on the bottom. So I got this specifically so that it could hold the Cricut Joy. You can use it as a lunch bag as well. But that's the actual reason why I got it. And I'm giving it to my sister, who I also bought a Cricut Joy for. Because I do love this little mini machine. So I'm going to personalize this portion of it. You could personalize the, um, personalize, excuse me, the back portion of it as well. There's a nice big space here. But I'm going to personalize the front for her. And she has one herself, so if she wants to personalize it a little more, she could. So the first thing you have to remember is this pocket is lined. It has padding in it. So I don't want to iron it together. So I'm going to actually fold in a little piece of butcher paper that I have so that it'll prevent this pocket from being ironed closed and I have made that mistake before so you do want to make sure that if you're ironing on to something that potentially has plastic on plastic which could melt together with your heat press you want to make sure you put something in there there's also this plastic hook they're going to pull that out so to avoid that from getting melted in this process okay so it is a pretty flat area and I'm also going to put a little cat because my sister loves cats. And if I could have, I probably should have tried to find a design that would cover that branding name over there. So if you're really clever, you could find a design or something to cover that. I did not. So I am going to just move things on the side. And it's a pretty flat area. And so my sister loves cats. So I'm going to put that there for her put a cat on this and because of the padding I don't actually have to put extra padding with any kind of heat press or anything I am just gonna put it just like that keep it down cover it cover my design with the Teflon sheet again that's to protect both my easy press and what I'm pressing which in this case is the lunchbox and then I'm gonna start ironing on and so this is the nylon setting. And so we want to do it for 30 seconds. So nylon is on the lowest setting because it does, again, it melts. So you want to make sure you put it on the lowest setting. And if you have to, just iron on for a little bit longer. Also want to make sure I really get the edges of my design here. This might iron on a little bit longer. So to, in order to make this design, I made it on Design Space. I actually do have Cricut Access. I gave in and started paying for it. Now, initially I did not, but I feel like it is worth it for how much I do. Plus, it's really convenient. All the fonts and the photos and everything is made for Cricut, by Cricut. So... I pay for that, but you can get away with not paying for Cricut Access and you could just download your own fonts and designs. There's multiple websites where you can get free fonts like thefont.com um, and free designs like lovesvg.com and um, the other one I like is Design Bundles that has free, they have free and paid options. Um, so again, just gentle pressure. And I'm going to go a little bit longer just because this design is a little bit wider. And I want to make sure I get all the edges of the, the cat. 
as well as the name. And there's a little bit of a fold. So I want to make sure I really get into that fold to really get the end of the design here. And sometimes if you don't get it all, you can always come back again. I think that's good. I'm going to let it cool off. Now, it also says you should do the back of this design. And I think I might just because I see a little bit of lifting on this side. It's a little hard because I do have a little bit of a zipper here. And I don't want to melt things. So again, you always want to protect it with either butcher paper or a Teflon sheet. In my case, I think the cat looks like it's really down nicely, but the top of the name here looks like there's still some space. So I am gonna do that area again, top of that letter, just a little bit more here. If I can get enough heat there to make it stick down. And so this is not gonna go, potentially I guess it could go in the wash, but normally you wouldn't be expecting this to go into the wash. And it is still not quite sitting right. So I think I'm not getting enough contact here. So what I'm gonna do, I want to do this carefully is I'm going to actually put my finger under here so that I can push up on that one area that's just not sticking. I have the heat press between myself and what I'm pressing so I don't burn myself. Almost like a hot pad in the way. Let's see if that works. Oh, I think that's a little better. It's a little better. Just let it sit there so it sticks down. So now this black portion, you can see, we'll just peel off this cute little cat. That looks perfect. Now the white one, this specific iron on uh, needs to be completely cool before we peel. And so it's still a little warm. And so if you peel this one warm, the design will actually pop off with the carrier sheet. So this one, you really want to make sure it's cool before you take it off. And again, just trying to put some pressure so we can get heat right where we need it to be. Okay. And I love my mini easy press as well. Super easy to use. And I think that's good. We're just gonna wait for it to get completely cool before we take it off. And now, that that part's done, you can also take the butcher paper out, which has kept your pocket from melting together like that, melting closed. Again, I have made that mistake before where I've forgotten to put something in between and then it just melts shut, which is really horrible. Okay, so almost done. I'm gonna peel this off and we'll be all done. You can almost see the little edges are coming off. This happens sometimes where it doesn't come off completely. So you do want to peel carefully. I 
And I think this happened again because I peeled it off while it was still warm. And if it's still warm, it won't come off properly. You need it to be pretty cool. Or else it sticks to your carrier sheet. Oh, there it goes. Now, if you have little folds like this, I'll show you guys how to fix it, but uh, you just need to get this off first. gotta fix this. So what you want to do, see how it's kind of coming up? What we're going to do is heat it again and then smooth it out. So that's the wonderful thing about HTV. It's not broken. Oh, I'm going to iron it again. I gotta put this back in. That's what happens. If you peel it off before it's completely cooled, you'll get these edges flipping up. So when you have those, you just come and iron it on again. And we're gonna do this. You wanna do it gently so it adheres it this time. And just make sure that you press down on the wrinkle, please magically go away. Okay, you can kind of see, and you keep pressing until it's adhered. And again, this is pretty common when you peel it too fast. And I was rushing and trying to get it done so I could show you and peeling before it was completely cooled. So now we're just reheating it down. And you can see how the iron smooths out all the little wrinklies that we saw earlier. You can see that? All done. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you.